Today, we're going to take a popular game, 2048, and we're going to have a large language model like ChatGPT playing it. The best way to get AI to play 2048 is probably through something called reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is like teaching a dog to do a new trick. When the dog performs the desired action, like doing a backflip, it gets a treat as a reward. Over time, the dog will learn to associate the backflip with getting a treat, reinforcing the behavior. Similarly, in AI, reinforcement learning involves training an algorithm to make decisions based off rewards or penalties, gradually learning the best action to take in different situations. Reinforcement learning and 2048 has been done before, so instead today we're going to share our 2048 board to a large language model asking what the next move will be. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we need to code 2048. We want it to look good, so we're going to borrow the color codes from an existing repository. Then we're going to spend a bunch of time converting it into a dictionary. A few errors later, and we have a 2048 window. We add a 4x4 grid, add the block tile spawn system, and then eventually add the functionality to combine these blocks together. We add a score system, and just like that, we have a working 2048 game. And you too can learn how to code 2048. You can watch and code alongside lessons as they're being taught. Plus, every lesson builds up incrementally using bite-sized coding steps, making it simple for new and experienced users to learn at the same time. You can also copy and paste lesson code into your own file. Just start learning to code today completely for free. Check out Codely.io where you can learn how to make 2048. So now, if you notice, we have added a new menu system for the human or the AI to play. If you select human, it will only affect the human score. And at the end of the game, you can go back and click AI and you can see the AI score showing head to head with the human score. Currently, the AI does nothing. We need to change that. So now on to adding our large language model. We convert the board into a four x four text board, attach the prompt telling the model we're playing 2048 and ask if it wants to move up left, right, or down. We can try different prompts to see if they affect how it plays the game. I decided to give it some basic strategy, and here we have a large language model playing 2048. It doesn't use strategy that we suggested in the prompts very well, and it finishes first with a score of 1,324. So we're gonna try again, but this time we're gonna use a lot less information that we're gonna give it. It's just pretty simple. You're playing 2048, Here's the board, tell me what move you want to make next. This time, things were going better, a lot better. It achieved a score of 2,312, which is the highest score so far, but this still was not good enough. Our last attempt is to update the prompt based off ChatGPT itself. So we are left with a wall of text that explains the rules, the strategy, and to think ahead before making each move. The first playthrough got a pretty bad score of 772. Maybe the AI got unlucky, so we're going to replay the game again with this prompt just to see what it can do. If you notice throughout this video, I've also have the large language model share why it's making each move it does. Its reasoning isn't always the best, but at least it shares it. This time around, it scores 996. So as a human player trying to pass the best AI score of 2,312, uh, this isn't even a challenge. This clip here isn't even sped up. It's just to show you that with very little thinking, as a human, I can pass AI in 2048. So as we go past the 2,400 score, I just want to remind you to subscribe and like this video. So while currently large language models aren't good enough to get a 2048 block, professional 2048 player jobs are safe for now. So don't forget to check out Coley.io if you want to learn how to code, and I'll see you in the next video.